Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know already, my name is Jen Seen, and I'm really excited to see you back here again. Today's video is going to be a review of the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. Now, this is what the palette looks like right here. I mean, can we all just take a second, look at this packaging, like, it is absolutely lit. Now, this palette is supposed to be a complement to the original Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. So you can see here, um, I know the colors are showing up really light, but don't worry about that. I'll show you guys a close-up. You've got three kind of brow highlight uh, shades, and then you've also got nine eyeshadows. So in all, you could just technically use even these three here as lid colors, but you have 12 eyeshadows. So, I mean, you get a lot of bang for your buck. The actual compact is pretty substantial. It's not uber heavy, but like is not going anywhere. This is not cardboard, guys. And they include a fabulous mirror here. I mean, it is huge. Like I consider it big enough to do your eyeshadow comfortably and do your other makeup comfortably. And I just love the goth packaging and I just love the whole shade and light collection so she also has some holographics logos on the top and the bottom here really cute and on the back it shows you each one of the shadow names here now this little baby ain't cheap it retails for $49 at Sephora now I purchased mine at my local Sephora I was able to swatch them beforehand and I just couldn't resist guys because they look beautiful. Now, these shadows come in four different finishes. On the very top here, these three here, they are the three base shadows. And then you also have three contour shades, three defined shades, and three top coat shades. So all of these have different finishes different amounts of glitter, different types of shimmer. To me, the base shadows have a combination of more of a matte with a very slight iridescent kind of shimmer. The contour shades are more of like a satiny finish type of shadow. I mean, all of these shadows go on very smooth, but I think these are the smoothest. The defined ones have a bit more glitter in them, and the top coat shades are very like glistening, glittery, like bam on your eyelids. Now I did create an eyeshadow look with this palette, and you guys will see this, it'll be at the end of the video, but I do want to kind of go into more of the shadows and talk a bit more about them. So as I said before, this is a wonderful complement to the original uh, Shade and Light Eye Palette. Now, I just love that. I feel like this is the perfect palette for somebody who isn't a big fan of a lot of color, but you like, you know, neutral, bronzy tone, and maybe for those times you really want to spice it up, you have a peach shade, you have a burgundy shade, and you have a black shade. <laughs> and I just, to me, all of these eyeshadows look so different when you swatch them and when you put them on the lid. Now I will say, now that I've had some time to wear this eye makeup, I found that when I took the Define shadow types and I combine them together they did blend very well but I tried to initially do a halo eye look and I found that they almost blended into each other instead of separating creating that pop of color if you know what I mean so just be aware that when you do go to use these uh, shades the ones that are more glittery like the define and the top coat shades those ones are going to blend more together and I think the concept of this palette is that they want all the shades to blend together to look beautiful shimmery to kind of create that beautiful gradient so on the plus side it's really really amazing for those of you that are beginners and you just don't 
have the time to be like blending like crazy and create that smooth gradient. So I think that this is very beginner friendly. And on the other side, the flip side of that, if you're a little bit more advanced and you play with makeup on a regular basis, maybe you want that pop of color. So my advice, and which is what I'm going to try the next time I use this palette, is if you took the actual uh, contour shades, like this one here, this one here, and this one here, and then you use the pop of color with the more like glittery shadows, that way they're not going to blend together, if that kind of makes sense. One thing that I definitely will say about this palette is the more glittery shades definitely have some kickback when you go to, you know, swipe or brush in the pan, and you will have some fallout underneath your eyes. Now, when you work with glittery shadows, I think that's to be expected. It's really hard to find a glittery shadow that has no kickback, no fallout whatsoever. How I would suggest dealing with that is to definitely do your eyes first. Like, that is key. Then it's super easy. Just take a makeup wipe and boom, you're done. You can move on. What I just love is like my eyeshadow I feel like looks so shimmery, catches the light so well, and is just absolutely beautiful. And I love how easy it was to blend the eyeshadows together. Now, even when I went and took the shade Rust, which is more of a burgundy with like a slight shimmer to it, and I put it under my eye, it just looked gorgeous. There was minimal fallout from that one. And that one is more of the contour shade finish, um, according to the actual Sephora website. But I just was so impressed with how easy it was. Usually when I add shades to my lash line, I have to spend a lot of time blending because that area is typically dry. So these shadows are all like hella, hella, hella buttery. I'm super excited because I feel like this is a realistic palette for the holidays where if you have a work function or a family get together or get together with friends, you can use these shadows and not look crazy and not feel intimidated, especially if you're somebody that's new to makeup. Now with all that being said, I'm sure you guys really want to see these eyeshadows in action. So let's go ahead and head on over to the tutorial. Now I always have to prime my oily lids and today I'm going in with Urban Decay's primer potion in the shade Caffeine. This one is really good for when you want your shadows to really pop and have them be true to color. Now to set up the transition colors right, I'm going into the shade Isabel and just working it into the upper lid area, really diffusing it out. And then going in with Violetta to deepen that up and create more of a smoky effect. Now we're going for more of the cut crease kind of a look. So I'm cutting the crease with my NYX HD Concealer in the shade Nutmeg. And I'm just using a flat brush to really go ahead and carve that out. I'm bringing this above my natural crease so it's going to be a little bit more visible. We definitely want to prevent any creasing, so I'm setting that with some translucent powder. Now the first shade I'm going to go into with this palette is called Bronze. It's a beautiful bronze shimmery shade, and I initially wanted to go for a halo look, but it ended up looking a lot more blended than I intended, but it's still really, really beautiful. So just using a flat liner brush to get all of those angles and make sure it's nice and cut. Now the second shade I went into is this peach quartz shade. Now I put that in the middle and by the time I blended it out it wasn't as poppin as I intended but you guys these shadows are still so freaking lovely. For a brow bone highlight, I'm using the shade Dune, and I was so impressed with how subtle this looks, guys. It's just, I can't even explain it properly. Like, I thought it was going to be blinding, but it was really lovely. Now, I'm just finishing this look up with some liner. This one is from Ciate London. And then for lashes, I'm using the Everlasting Lashes by House of Lashes in Sephora. And these are just really nice, more like natural, flirty types of lashes. 
And that's the final look that I came up with. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Now, I just like am absolutely in love with this palette. I think this is the neutral lover's dream with just the appropriate hints of color. But let me know what are your thoughts about this palette? How do you feel about it? Do you want to get it? If you have it, how much do you love it or hate it? You know, you gotta be real. And if you have some time and you want to chill with me some more, don't forget to check out these videos right here. As always, I love you guys and I'm so appreciative of all of you that watch my videos. It means so much to me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!